forming AWS stack with CloudFormation. That's what we're going to do in this project. Welcome. In this project, we're going to set up stack of some services by using CloudFormation. Okay, in this project, we're going to set up a CI CD stack or a restore or CI CD stack on AWS, on AWS EC2 instances. We are going to set up our Jenkins, Nexus, SonarCube, Windows Server, Application Server, and Database Server. And yes, you can use this project for yourself. Actually, this project is for you to help you do all your R&D with CICD pipeline. But that does not mean there is no real world use case for this. We do similar things in real time. Maybe instead of Jenkins, Nexus, SonarCube, we have stack of some other services. So you want to bring back your stack of services to life from a backup that you have taken somewhere, you can use a similar approach. Okay, let's understand why we are doing this project. Okay, we, we know for you or in a project, we if you have to continuously maintain servers, EC2 instances or any server with storage, there is cost to it. If it's continuously running, there'll be long-term charges. So we might think of take, taking a backup through AMI, you know, take an AMI of an instance and store it, dump it. But then there is storage cost, right? One, two are fine. But if you are like 10, 15, then the storage cost is more. Okay. So then we can delete it and then we can manually set up everything again, but that's time consuming. Now imagine you have to set up the entire CICD stack, Nexus, Jenkins, Owner Cube again and again and again, as you've been doing in the projects. But it's fine for project. You're seeing step by step. You can do it, right? But new the technologies are changing. The new new plugins in Jenkins. There are new new ways of doing CI/CD pipeline, and you need to do all those R and D. So doing a setup every time, if you don't want to take backup, then you know it will be time consuming. Plus, there is huge chances of making human error. And it's also difficult to remember what we did. Okay, in this situ in such situations, we can use. Cloud formation in AWS. So cloud formation is an automation tool or an automation service provided by AWS. If you have gone through cloud formation introductory videos, if you already know cloud formation, you know, once you have your templates ready, it will be so easy to launch your stack. And plus if it's automated, then there is no chance of making human errors. In cloud formation, we write templates so we can maintain the state of the infrastructure and CloudFormation anyways can compare your template with the existing state of your infrastructure and make the differential changes just like Terraform. And if everything are in templates, text file, you can do version control. You have infrastructure as a code then. And it's repeatable. You can do it as many as time for different, different environments, reusable for different, different environments and different, different scopes. Okay, so we are going to use CloudFormation as I already discussed and automate our AWS cloud services. So CloudFormation acts like a configuration management tool for our AWS account. Okay, let's just reiterate once again, what are we going to do in this project? We're going to set up a CI/CD stack for our vProfile project. We'll have Jenkins, we'll have a Nexus, we'll have a SonarCube server, plus some other services like Tomcat, MySQL, Memcache, RabbitMQ in the backend services. And we're going to fetch our data from the S3 bucket to restore the data that we have taken backup in continuous delivery and project. I have made a video uh, in continuous delivery project. You can check how to take backup of your CICD stack. So you already need that backup in an S3 bucket stored. We're going to use that backup to restore our entire CICD stack. All right, then let's make it happen. Okay, let's understand the flow of execution. I hope you have gone through the introductory videos of CloudFormation or you already have some experience with CloudFormation. So we're going to check our CICD data on the S3 bucket. We have taken backup in our CICD project of Jenkins Nexus Sonar Cube. We've taken the data backup tarballs on S3 bucket. So we're going to check that. We're going to note down the bucket name and the files, file names 
in that S3 bucket. We're going to create one more S3 bucket to upload our templates that we are going to write. So we're just going to create in this step, we'll just create the bucket and we'll create a folder named stack hyphen template inside that. Initially, keep the same folder name. Then later, if you want, you can change, then you have to change the templates also. We're going to note down the bucket name and the folder names. So we have two things to note down now. We have an S3 bucket where we have the data backup. So we have to note down its name and file names and another S3 bucket where we are going to upload our templates, the CloudFormation template. So we are going to note down that bucket name and the folder name inside that. Okay, we already have data. Now we can get started. We can create a key pair that will be used to log into our instances that will get launched. We're going to write a root template named CICD temp dot YML. You can choose to write a different name also. So this will be like a skeleton. What we are going to do. This will be the main template that is going that that is going to call the child templates. So the child templates, we're going to then write the child templates first CICD S3 role dot YML, a template that is going to create an S3 role which will be attached to our EC2 instances. Then we're going to write another child template Jenkins.yml, which will set up Jenkins service on EC2 instance, download backup from the S3 bucket. And for that we need the S3 role. But in this place, we're just going to write, we are not going to execute. We can run a test though, but the idea is to run everything from the root template as nested stack. We're going to do a nested stack. Then we're going to write a nexus.yaml template it's going to set up nexus download the backup and restore it sonar setting up sonar cube server again restoring from the backup windows test server this is just provision and execute some powershell command application server which is going to set up tomcat service and download two configurations from the s3 bucket database server just provision the service with some initial data that's all once we have it, we're going to update all this child templates name or the path in the S3 bucket into the root template. Once all our templates are ready, root template and all the child templates, then we're going to upload all our child template to the S3 bucket that we created in the folder stack hyphen template. And if we're done here, the final step is to create the nested stack by using our root template CICD template.yaml. All right, then let's get started.